Hey everybody, back with another video. And today what I want to do is answer a question in uh, in this uh, in this video here. So uh, what we have is a question here from uh, Chris McKee. And he says, uh, I want to install an Ecobee 3 in my home. And at the thermostat, he has, like you would expect, a, a W, Y, G, and R. And on the furnace, he also has the same terminals, but the thermostat wires that he has connected at the thermostat, which is a W, Y, G, and R, um, and, and Y being blue in this case, goes down to the furnace, and the only thing connected is W, G, and R, or, or white, green, and red. The blue wire goes straight to and connects to another wire and uh, runs out to the AC and back. And now I'm going to explain why it's wired up that way. So let me read it the way he wrote it. He says, uh, at the thermostat, I have W, Y, G, and R. Uh, y is the blue wire. At the furnace, I have a W, G, R hooked up. Nothing is on Y. But there's a gray wire on the C that goes out to the AC and comes back as red and goes to the thermostat as the blue wire and connects to the Y on the thermostat. Would you be able to explain what they are doing? Any help would be greatly appreciated. Thank you. All right. So I did a previous video, which I'll leave in a link uh, in the a link to that video in the description below. And uh, that video is right here. I have it uh, queued up here. And that uh, video is Basic Electrical 101, number 8, HVAC. And basically in this video, we're wiring up a thermostat from scratch. So I'll run through real quick the, uh, the, vid uh, the, the wiring uh, of that, and then we're going to explain Chris's problem, and uh, hopefully it'll be nice and clear here in a sec. So the furnace here and the thermostat here, and this over here under my chin is the, uh, is the condenser or the outdoor unit. So power comes in on the R and the C from the furnace, from the furnace's transformer, 24 volts. C is common, and R is our hot wire. So coming out of the R, you have, um, you have uh, power going up to the thermostat on R, and over, we so have to stop that. Stop that. Stop it. All right, so R comes out of here. and on, uh, Stop it. There we go. On a call for heat, it goes from the R to the W terminal. Goes down, and now my hand's in the way. Uh, let's see if we can back that up a second right there. Okay. Um, from R to W is a call for heat. That goes down to the furnace and initiates either the gas valve uh, or maybe it uh, through the control board it initiates uh, an inducer relay. So on a call for cooling, it sends power down the Y terminal and the G terminal. The G terminal uh, goes back down to the furnace and powers the fan relay. The Y will come down here and connects to the Y on the furnace, but here's what you don't see is that Y yeah. is actually a dead terminal. There is nothing there. It might as well be um, a wire nut. It, it's just nothing. So when you get a call for cooling and that power is coming down on the Y wire, what they did on Chris's furnace is they just wire nutted it right here and sent it on out to the condenser. Okay, So the power is going down to G to the furnace to turn the fan on, and the power is coming down Y and connecting right here, right there, and going over to the... Uh, condenser and the other side of the condenser stop it the other side of the condenser is common so that completes your circuit that's it basically Y is a dead terminal there's nothing there and it can just easily be uh, wire nutted right there now in some cases some of the older furnaces in the 80s and things like that uh, maybe the early 90s but typically in the late 80s if you still have one of those furnaces sometimes there was only three terminals. There was a W and a, uh, on the furnace I mean, there was an R, or excuse me, a W and a G and an R, and that was it. So so you uh, you would automatically wire it up this way, just like Chris's furnace there. So 
hopefully that uh, hopefully that answered the questions uh, and uh, put you in a better understanding of what was going on with that furnace. Uh, I just wanted to uh, throw a couple things out there, let you guys know that I'm working on a couple of websites. Um, if you have joined me uh, through uh, an interest in HVAC or the like, uh, I have an, uh, a website being designed just for uh, HVAC uh, people, HVAC interests. Uh, I also have one uh, being generated and designed around self-sustainability, uh, self-reliance. And those two websites are in the works. Uh, also putting together uh, uh, some DVD, um, educational uh, DVDs, uh, getting together some books, and uh, just trying to overall get a much better uh, quality and um, uh, more uh, informative content, uh, more ways to reach you guys and get the information out to you the way you're looking to uh, receive it. Uh, have ver uh, so several social media platforms uh, working on those as well. So, um, and and I guess the last thing is is uh, I'm working on a Patreon campaign where I uh, I can offer uh, top level content to Patreon uh, supporters. Um, also thinking about putting together a, uh, a, a behind the scenes vlog type of uh, video series um, uh, to include you know anything that uh, that's not related to YouTube um, you know just kind of day-to-day life and and maybe exciting things that we do as a family and and things of that sort so looking maybe to uh, bring you some content like that as well so all uh, right, uh, I just want to thank you guys. I want you to look right here at this video. Let me get my screen reduced back down so you can see what I'm talking about. Let's get this a little smaller. If you look right here in the center of the screen, I have 231 uh, views on this, on this particular video. I want to thank you guys for that. This is the type of thing right here that really uh, gets me excited to make more videos and show you guys what uh, what um, what uh, what you're looking for try to get that content out there and and I get comments like this I mean great explanation excellent job a plus very helpful information thanks for dedicating time to make these great videos uh, great series um, and right there it says but what about the condenser fan um, what, uh, uh, thank you, sir. I really appreciate it. Uh, I have lots of questions, sir. There is, okay, so, yeah, you know, see, I, I have lots and lots of questions, uh, come in, and, uh, I've had people ask for DVDs so that they can watch them offline, um, and, uh, and, and if I had more, uh, educational type things rather than just these videos so that's what's kind of prompted me to, to think that well maybe there is a uh, um, maybe there is uh, something that I can do for you guys and get this information out there so I'm taking all of this to the next level and uh, trying to produce uh, a whole network of content for you guys so if you have any thoughts or or comments bring them leave them in the comment section below this video here um, I love your feedback and it, uh, it really helps me kind of steer where things are going and, and with this video or with this, uh, with this YouTube channel and this whole, uh, endeavor here. So, all right, well, I guess I'll stop blabbing and, and just, uh, call it good. Uh, so, uh, leave me a, uh, comment, like this video, please share the video, uh, rate it, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, all that good stuff. It really helps us out a lot. So. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next video.